I know some persons like to say I like to share bad news, but this is not, you know, like bad news kind of thing. I'm just here to share with you all what is currently happening. This is pure reality. Hi beautiful people, welcome back again to my YouTube channel. If today is your first time here, my name is Stella. On this channel, I talk about my life here in the UK, what is happening around me and I share information. Currently, I just attended a reaction video, so you'll see more reaction videos. So if this content sounds like what you'll be interested in, do not forget to like, subscribe for more content like this. And for my returning subscribers, thank you guys for always coming back to watch my video. So guys, today's video, why I said you all need to stop applying for UK healthcare job with visa sponsorship this year, 2024, is because a lot has been going on so if you are outside the uk to be honest now i am being sincere with you guys and i know some of you might like not be happy with what i have to say but i just have to say this yeah there's this video trending online about a woman that was paid hundred and something thousand pounds to give people job with visa sponsorship and up to now they are still trying to get their money no job the money is gone they are still trying to get their money back Hi guys, so today's video is sponsored by Teddy Blake New York. I'll be sharing with you all my honest review on this product. So I've worked with them twice and I got this beautiful bag from Teddy Blake. So if you are a lover of designer bags, if you're looking for luxury bag, pure leather, then you all need to check out Teddy Blake. I'll be sharing with you all my honest review on this product after two years. So I worked with them twice and I got this uh, purple bag, but that was early this year and I don't want to use that one. I think this is almost two years of me using this bag and you guys need to see what this bag looks like. This bag is still new and can you guys see this is pure leather so if you're looking for a luxurious designer bag you all need to check out ted blake and currently they are on massive sale 70 percent off now let me show you guys what it looks like inside can you guys see when i tell you guys this is pure leather this is pure luxury so if you're looking for a designer bag check them out so guys this is what ted blake new york website looks like they've got beautiful designer bags new collection they are always up to date if you're looking for true made in italy pure leather designer bags then you all need to check out ted blake they work with experienced craftsmen working in the same italian factories as other luxurious brand you all need to check out ted blake they are currently on massive discount like i said so check them out for your dream designer bag. If you're looking for pure Italian leather design, Teddy Blake has got you covered for your Italian leather bags. So guys, what do you all think about Teddy Blake? I'm going to leave all that you need to know about Teddy Blake on the description below for easy access. For those of you interested, you all need to check them out and thank me later. Please and please, those of you still gathering little money or still planning to pay somebody, for healthcare job to bring you from outside the UK from overseas please do not do it use that money to do something better for your life or better still consider other countries or you know like just try other countries to be honest it's not easy people in the UK are already struggling to get COS and currently a lot of things are so slow some persons are saying it's because of the what's it called is because of the election so that even to get your COS is so difficult and some persons also apply for visa up till now their visa is not yet out this set of people i'm talking about are people working with the a rated companies now if you're in the uk and you work with a rated company they expect you know whatever you're doing to get it you know so quick for example COS in 48 hours you're expected to get it yes so many persons get their own in less than 24 hours say your what's it called visa some person used to get it two to three days to get their visa is out without paying for any fast track or whatever do you understand what i'm trying to say but now it's even difficult some persons are still waiting for their visa some persons are still waiting for their COS. and you outside the uk is paying fifteen thousand pounds for healthcare job honestly speaking it's hard this is uh april isn't it from January till this month of April, have you seen anybody saying I am relocating to the UK as a healthcare assistant? I got this job this year from outside the UK. I'm not saying people in the UK. I mean people in the UK are still getting COS, are still getting sponsorship. People in the UK, do you understand what I mean? But people outside the UK, have you seen anybody made a video on that? If you have seen, please 
tag the person on this video please me personally will reach out to that person there's nothing like cos do you hear i'm not issuing any cos or visa for healthcare job for people outside the uk currently like i said some persons are saying it's because of the election why because they say some parties when they win this election they'll be against you know they'll be against immigrants coming in and the other party like the labor party because i can remember somebody was saying stella please vote for labor party and i was like well, why and she said because the labor party you know support and encourage immigrants to come into the uk yes that was you know what i was told that oh please support labor party you know that kind of thing i was like okay so Labour Party is the party that support immigrants and the other party are the party that do not support, you know, immigrants. I was like, okay, so is this how these things work? See, election is election. Honestly speaking, I will say this, corruption is everywhere. So that is why they are slowing down everything. Even you watching me, if you are in the UK, you agree with me that people already in the UK are struggling to get the COS. Talk more of people outside the UK. So now I'm not saying that you should not apply for this job. I am not here to discourage you guys because I know some persons like to say I like to share bad news but this is not you know like bad news kind of thing. I'm just here to share with you all what is currently happening. This is pure reality. This is the reality of people already in the UK or reality of people living in the UK. Some person don't even have this COS. They don't know where to start. Their post study will end maybe this year. And they don't have COS yet. And honestly, I feel like the UK government are causing, you know, some problems. For example, you hear people saying, oh, they revoked their license. They gave them 60 days to get another sponsorship. Now, you're revoking somebody's license while some of this, you know, problem are from your own end. So I saw this article. It says, the Home Office granted 275 certificate of sponsorship for care workers after forged documents were used to make an application. So now I'm not saying that the home office are God that we know who forge and who do not forge. But I feel like that this is their job. Now, and this is where this care job with visa sponsorship comes in. Those of you paying, you see where all the works and calculation happens. Some of you, when you pay these people, they forge, forge so many documents. I also saw an article that, that also said that UK issued license to unknown agencies and care homes that do not even exist. So now I'm not saying that the UK Home Office are God. You know, everybody's bounds make mistakes, but giving 275 people certificate of sponsorship and then later giving them 60 days to leave the UK is not, you know, it's not just fair. And like I said, that is why those of you making this payment have to be very, very careful. Can you imagine some person pay 15,000 pounds to get the COS and then after two, three months, your license is being revoked. So within four months, 14,000 pounds or 15,000 pounds is just gone. So please and please, if you're planning to pay any agent, anybody, anybody, when I mean anybody, any money for care job with visa sponsorship, here in the UK 2024, you all need to wait after all the election is done and then you all will know your fate because like I said, people already in the UK are struggling to get certificate of sponsorship and I'll say this again, if you're watching me and you're in the UK and you agree with what I am saying, leave it on the comment section because I know some person will be like, this lady do not want us to come to the UK, she always likes to share bad news. I've seen a couple of you know comments like that in my previous video and some of you don't even understand when people say this is reality of what's happening look we are in the uk and we know what's happening people are going through things they are not coming here you know to share with you what is happening not everybody not everybody will come on social media and tell you guys the reality however if you see any job that is currently recruiting healthcare worker from overseas feel free to apply do you understand but what ella ella is saying is not worth paying any fifteen thousand ten thousand pounds to any care agency take this or leave it if you feel you want to spend this money you know then do it personally i even encourage you to use that fifteen thousand pounds to pay for a school fees yes at least after that school you have two years for study which you have you know better chances of getting you know job within that two years at least you are even in the country to know you know to know see what's happening for yourself without anybody coming on social media telling you this or that you will experience it you also feel the heat you know what i'm saying like i said again i am not saying people are not getting but please if you have seen anybody that got cos this year 2024 from outside the uk leave it on the comment section i would definitely want to reach out to that person 
is really tight so please do not be deceived and do not fall victims of this to be honest on this article it says a lot but i'm just pinpointing you know the situation of things like what's happening and what is happening to so many carers here in the uk but under it, it says the report criticized the inappropriateness of the regime in place and said that the mismatch between its mega com complement of compliances office and ever expanding registers of licensed sponsor with one officer for every 1600 employers was totally inadequate now all of this is from the home office under it says in the example of an employer only known as company b an application had been submitted using a forged document and a bank statement in the name of a real care home provider but despite online checks showing that the address they provide showed no trace of link to a care home which with 275 certificate of sponsorship had been secured with 181 assigned to care workers none of whom have arrived to undertake genuine rules it simply means that some persons that are even coming in are not even getting any job have not even you know they have no choice but to start working in other places that are not in line with the job that sponsored them now it's true that it says that as a healthcare worker you can work more than 20 hours in another you know in another job do you understand but on the government website which i made a video on that i said it says that you must work in a job that is under the shortage occupation list so yes you can pick extra 20 hours of job even if it's not in care job but it has to be on the uk shortage occupation list but so if you check now the home office too are making mistake issuing visa sponsorship to these people and after they come to the country they will now start struggling for job and and before you know it the same uk home office will revoke their license so is it worth it it's not worth it to be honest like i said again feel free to keep applying if you get a job it's still okay but do not pay do not pay anybody for any job with visa sponsorship and before applying for any job cross check your cv make sure it align with the job role and with this increase of the threshold you can see that it will be difficult for it just a normal carer to get this job with visa sponsorship this year 2024 so trust me it's not worth paying anybody a dime if you're watching this video and you agree with me that it's difficult for people outside the uk to get this job with visa sponsorship leave it on the comment and if you agree with me that people already in the uk are struggling when I mean they are struggling to get this cos leave it on the comment section and for those of you that will still come for me and say stella you are not a good person you don't like you know people to come to the uk well it's your choice i just like to share the reality of what's happening in the uk if you think you have enough money you can still pay them in my workout for you because i mean at the end of the day it's working out for some persons and it's not working out for the other person i'm just saying that it's not worth paying that fifteen thousand pound you can well i just feel the need to share this video because a lot has been happening and i've seen people struggling people you know regretting their action i just feel bad that it's happening to our people do you understand i feel bad about it maybe after the election things might you know favor us let's just hope so but for now it's not worth paying anybody for healthcare job you can as well check out the domestic work like at least it's not everywhere for now so if it's something you can consider you can check them out check the requirement and start applying in that field you might you know something positive might work out for you or better still check other you know other jobs that might work out for you and if you're into construction check them out construction is also a good job people are doing it people are getting good money people are getting sponsorship on construction why not try it it might work out well for you well we've come to the end of today's video if you find this video interesting and informative to watch do not forget to give me a thumbs up like subscribe and share i'll see you guys in my next post guys bye guys <laughs>